Hi guys, happy Monday. It's President's Day. I had the day off. I don't know if you guys did. I hope you did. If not, I hope you just had a great day nevertheless. And I just lounged all morning. It felt good not to have an agenda going this morning. And so I washed my hair and I rewashed it. And I'm getting ready to decondition it and then go to the gym. So I did a recorded the video this week and I was going to show you guys a new styling product. This is by Shea Moisture, the styling gel. My hair absolutely didn't like it. Like, it just rebelled against it. <laughs> Flakes for days. I could have used too much. But it was flaky. It kind of got hard on me. I didn't like it at all. But I did like the deep conditioner. So I'm going to use that along with... I'm still doing the castor oil challenge that Brandy1525 is doing. That goes till May. So I'll have to do a February update on that. But I'm adding that to my deep conditioner. I'm going to put that on, go run some errands. I got to go to the store and get something for dinner tonight because I didn't go grocery shopping over the weekend. And I only shop for groceries for the week, the, for the upcoming week. That's how I do it. And um, so I'm going to do that today. And then a couple other errands. And I want to go to this gym that's right around the corner from my house. It used to be Gold's Gym, but now the gym that I belong to owns that gym and so instead of driving 12 minutes away which isn't bad when I go to the gym which I haven't been for a while now it's literally it literally is within walking distance but I'm not going to walk because I have some other errands to do as well but I'm hoping they have a sauna because you know every gym does not oh I hope they have a sauna because I want to sit in the steam room with, while I have my deep conditioner on but if not I'll still just have my hat on and it'll be deep conditioner for a while and then I'll just freeze down my hair just like I normally do with my eco and my grease I do have to stop and get some more eco because that is going to be an empty it's going to be in my empties but this one will too because instead of before I buy some more I'm going to finish this one I think I have one more use and I like the green I like the olive oil one better but since I have this, I'm going to go ahead and finish that. So, yeah, I'm going to get this on my hair, put on some clothes, and then um, I'll just take you guys. It'll just be a random Monday vlog, okay? Let's go. They don't have no sales this week. They have 12-pound bags of $12.99, but they are out. So, i got to get the big bag which I like getting but I like it to get it on sale my dogs for both dogs they go through this in like three weeks two and a half three weeks so 40 bucks for three weeks is not bad at all I always check to see if they have snacks on sale and they don't okay And so I won't get them because they have them at the at the grocery store, and they're usually on sale there. I'm looking for a particular brush that I don't see. Huh. I'm at Marshalls. My Marshalls don't never have what I'm looking for. Let's see what they got on this side. Oh, that's it. So I made it to the gym, but you guys, I don't have a lock. Um, and they do have a sauna. I don't have a lock to put my stuff in. I wasn't thinking. This gym is so nice. So nice. Anyway, I'm going to ask that lady if she'll hold my stuff behind the um, desk because I want to go in the sun. Oh, y'all, I had a good workout. A good spontaneous workout. Was not planning on it, but it was a good one. I'm too tired to take the stairs down, so I'm taking the elevator. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, gosh, that was awesome. Bye, thank you. Y'all, that was an awesome workout. They have, uh, excuse me, they have, they have a, um, 
a sauna, not a steam room. So I'm used to the wet steam room. But they just have a dry sauna room, which, oh my goodness, I don't care. I like that as well. I'll take it over nothing. Got a good sweat. So now I'm headed to the grocery store. I wanted to make my grocery store my last run, and then I could head home and get dinner done. I'm craving, I want a salad, because I want to start back getting into my salad. But I'm also craving some um, lemon pepper chicken. So, I think I'll have both. I'll be back. Hey y'all, let me show you my quick little haul. But I got this three piece, like a rose gold brush set by the Trifecta, that's the brand. And I got it just for that brush right there in the middle. Cause um, I'm gifting that to somebody. But I was really looking for the real technique brush, the buffing brush. But I, so I found it after I had already bought this. So this is gonna go in my, I'm gonna do a birthday giveaway. I was gonna do a Valentine's Day giveaway, but I'm just collecting items. I've been collecting items and I'm gonna just do a big birthday giveaway with a lot of different products. Then I got this. So cute. It's a bonnet. Looks like that. And I got two of them. One, one for me and one for whoever wins my giveaway. Then I, I didn't have a, a fuchsia color or a, a rose color lip pencil. So I picked one up my straight razors that I use for my brows. I was completely out. And then I did pick up another Eco. Then I, I was watching, uh, <laughs> I was watching Coco, Coco's video. One cup of Coco daily. And she did, she tested the Lay's chips. You know how Lay's come out with those new chips. They got two new flavors. Southern Queso. I'm gonna try those first. And I just left the grocery store and I'm hungry too. And I love queso dip. Mm -hmm. So these are good. Those are good. I'm gonna just leave these on the table. Hubby's a nighttime snacker. So am I, but I'm trying to do better, y'all, but I'm not there yet with my diet. I gotta get back on track. But I told myself I'm not gonna go hard with a diet. Balance it out with exercise and healthy choices. And if I want some, I just want it. Beer and broth. I'm not keeping track of my steps. I'm not keeping track of my calories. None of that. It's too much. Let's see what the beer and broth taste like. I don't even like beer, but. Oh, it feels like beer. Mm. I picked that up immediately. Why would they do that, beer and broth? Mm -mm. This little boy next to me, I wish I could show y'all him. He is really looking at me real hard. <laughs> he wants some chips. I be gonna like those. I like the queso ones. This little boy. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here before I sit up here and eat up all these chips. I'm hungry. I'm ready to go home and rinse my hair and get my dinner started. I'll be back. So this is my hair, freshly rinsed. I'm going to put my leave in, which is the Kinky Cashmere. I like this because you can use it as a leave in or rinse out. I never use it as a rinse out though. So what I do is I section my hair off. I 
I think I'm gonna let my hair dry before I um, twist it up. I'm just gonna throw some braids in, but I'm gonna show you. I get asked a lot how my curls are always so defined. Um, and I'm gonna just show you how Eco Valor reacts in my hair. Let me get these pins in first, just to kind of section things off. I'll start with that section. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm going to go downstairs and cook. And then it's time to relax. I had the day off. So tomorrow is back at it. I did not detangle my hair before I washed. My hair detangles super easy. Um, so... one more clip I like to just and you see how my hair is let me adjust my set it's just real spongy but when I add the the eco to it then it just instantly curls up A dab of grease and then I twist it so there's no secret to how my curls are so defined other than y'all yeah, don't understand the lighting here hold on other than um, at the end of each twist, I like to do a bantu knot. And that will give me that curl at the end instead of just it sticking straight up. So about that much gel. It helps to distribute it with the demon brush or something similar. And it curls up really nicely with, with the Eco. Little or no effort at all. And then, what I mean by the Bantu knot, this white will dry clear. With that other product, I thought it was going to dry clear, but it did not. So, I like to take and do a little Bantu knot on the end. So that it has that little curl at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to twist the rest of my hair up without product. And then tomorrow when it's dry, I'll do the same exact thing. Because then it'll be a little more stretched out. And I apologize about my lighting. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Y'all, so don't laugh at my braids. I just literally throw in some braids, some twists, so it can dry overnight. But look how cute this bonnet is that I just bought. So cute. Has a little tie in the back. It's already tied. Is that cute or what? I love it. You can kind of put it to the side. <laughs> that is super cute. And it has a little, you know, a little snug to it, so it's not loose. I might reposition that braid just because I want that to lay down flat and cute. It don't matter. So cute. I love it. So yes, one will be given away because I did put it to my giveaway basket. All right. Okay, so while my dinner is cooking, I'll show y'all a real quick, easy cocktail. This is some cranberry juice. Nothing fancy using a paper styrofoam cup. And this right here is just lovely. Lemon flavored vodka. It should be only about a shot left. Yep. And that's it. So it's a vodka cranberry with a twist with that little lemon. I'm going to take a little bit of fresh lemon as well and get that in there 
so good. Mm -mm. So you guys, I just have a salad with some tomatoes on it, some ranch dressing. I thought I had a cucumber, but I did not. And I got a, two wings, two little drumettes, and then the two flats on my plate. But y'all, the wings turned out so, so, so good. Lemon pepper, garlic lemon pepper wings. I'll have a separate video for the recipe and how I created those. So good. I'm finna go eat. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, on my day off. I'll see you next time.